Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I was just experimenting in Photoshop and I came up with these tones that kind of reminded me of uh, like vintage Polaroid cameras, like what they used to produce. So um, I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. It's really quick. I've only got like a few different settings that I need to um, apply, but I thought maybe you guys might like it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first step is going to be going down to our adjustment layers and getting a solid color. And the solid color we're going to use is A81553. And press OK, so it's kind of like a bright pink color. And we're going to set that to lighten at 24%. So in doing that, we've kind of brought up in the shadows of the photograph we've made them look really pink so that was one of the key factors i think with a lot of uh polaroid cameras is that a lot of the shadows tended to be quite bright pink like it's almost like um something's gone wrong in camera um or it's been exposed strangely this is what that's done so it's given it a different look already and the next step we're going to just bring up levels and we're going to have the settings at 0, 1, and 237. So that will just brighten up the image a lot. And then the next adjustment layer we're going to get up is a curves layer. And we're not going to do too much with curves. We're just going to mark in a couple of points. So 17 and 0. And then the next point is 52 and 47. Whoops, 47. And the next one is 183 and 168. And then the last one is 239 and 255. With the curves layer we just created, this is what that's done. So what we've essentially done with it, we've raised the shadows and lowered the highlights so the highlights are looking a lot more muted now and the shadows are kind of brought up and it's just adding less contrast to the image and making it look a little bit more faded and giving it hopefully that retro look that we need then the next layer we're going to bring up is another solid color and that's going to be a yellow color and that one is efd e4f and press ok then we're going to set that to multiply, which will fill in a lot of the highlights of the image, and 10%. Okay, and that's actually all we have to do for this look. So the yellow has just really given it that retro effect and given it that old photo kind of style. So just to show you guys how that looks on a different photo, I'm just going to drag the layers from this photograph onto another one just to show you how that looks so it really does give it that retro effect I've applied it to a few images and they all seem to look pretty good which is kind of rare you know like not all tones will work on every single image but I feel like these tones have really transformed the photograph without doing too much to it really so I'm going to show you guys just a before and after so this is a before and that's the after I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you'd like to see anything else in particular please let me know and I'll just let you guys know as well, I've started up another YouTube channel for makeup and beauty related things. So if you're interested in that, I have the link in the description below. I don't know how much I'm going to be posting on there, but it's just something that I've wanted to do for a little while, you know, just for fun. And it's something that I enjoy doing in my spare time as well as this. So, all right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.